and Persa, the home world of the Founders, is under attack by the Herc. This is our darkest hour. If Ampersa falls, the Dominion will come to an end. I'm asking you to join in the defense efforts as soon as you can. A task force will assemble at my fleet's location in the Gamma Quadrant and warp to Ampersa from there. Remember, if we fall, the Alpha Quadrant is next. It's time to make a stand. I hope you'll join in the fight. on the verge of collapse. Without your help, the Herc will win the War of Attrition. What's happening? Yes, Garrick, I found your mysterious widget. What is it exactly? It's not Karemin Tech. I found a similar device on Bejo. These devices call the Herc, and we put them there. The other Founders are hiding things from me. Odo, look out! Hold your fire. I think it's trying to communicate. We can't hold off the Herc forever. Alliance forces are spread too thin to help, Quark. We need the Klingons, brother. Otherwise, we're doomed. The Sword of Kalos has promised. Once again, the House of Quark delivers. Martok will be pleased. You found a secret I've kept for millennia. The origin of the Herc infestation. And you're rolling it. The Dominion must endure. I'm afraid I can't allow that. As we speak, every Herc in the Quadrant is homing in on the signal. And now the conclusion. I arrived here ahead of you and I've already engaged the Herc near the planet. You've made your point, Garrick. Deactivate the Herc Lure device you placed on the home world before this gets out of hand. I'm afraid that's the problem, Ambassador. I deactivated it several minutes ago. Then why are the Hercs still attacking? Don't play games with me here, Garrick. I'm warning you. Perhaps they're still attacking due to a deep hatred of your people. After all, the Founders are directly responsible for their state of mind, body, and soul. I can't say I blame them for... Enough! Both of you. We don't have time for this. There's bigger problems to deal with here, starting with that swarm of Herc vessels nearby. Agreed. My fleet is already engaged near the planet, but Herc reinforcements keep arriving. Try to punch through the swarms so we can join up. We may be needing your solution to this problem soon. And
bought ourselves some time. Let's hope it's enough. Julian, is your plan ready? It may be our best hope to end things now. It's as ready as possible, Captain. The challenge of frontier medicine, I'm afraid, is that there is never enough time. I've created a program that will enable the Herc to synthesize the compound they need to come to their senses. I've also put together a core sample of the compound for them to utilize in mass production. That is the easy part. And the hard part? What do you need to make this happen? From what we've learned about the Herc, the best way to make this happen will be to enter the data into one of their core computer systems. It'll need to be a command level system with fleet-wide override authority. Systems of that caliber are only found on Herc dreadnoughts. There's a Herc Dreadnought heading toward the planet as we speak. It's slow, so we should be able to intercept it. I recommend we engage that ship and disable it, if possible. We'll need to get a team on board to carry out Julian's plan. on that dreadnought before it calls for backup. Loris and I have all we need. We're ready to beam over when you are. We'll need to find their central computer core. Once we're there, I'll begin the override process that will allow us to transmit our data on the cure. When that's done, we can instruct each ship in their fleet to replicate the cure and distribute it to every Herc on board. Of course, we need to reach the command center in one piece to do so. Enemy life signs ahead. Get ready to fight. Proceed with caution. I'm reading numerous hazards in the area. This section of the ship is taking heavy damage.